Hi guys, so what is going on? And welcome back to another video on Conqueror's Blade as we dive into a little bit of a siege battle on Highland Ford. Um, really just a completely random selection of units for some reason. Decided to start with the Fort of Brashiers, a unit that I really loved for quite a long time but uh, haven't really used a lot recently. I do notice that we've got quite a cav push going out, out of the B gate. So, now we've got two options. We can try and deal with the cav if they push this way, or we can try and basically break through the gate and then I'll basically set up in the rear of the gate so they can't come in. Note they're coming. Complete setup, form line. That wasn't the best positioned line ever, but we'll take it. I'll use my hero to cover off these Keshigs. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, they're trying to disrupt the line. It's not going to work for you. I certainly don't want to trebuchet. There we go, clear those through. Nice. Well, that relatively panned out. We've got a bit of stuff coming out the gate there as well. So reform, reform. Got Madao here with us, which are going to help. Okay, uh, quite a bit of... Well, that was a bit of a bit more of a hectic start than I was expecting. Glad I brought the forties now. Always useful to have a pike unit. Let's go for these grey hairs. Oh, they pushed into me a little bit more than I thought they were going to. Try and push them over. God. Oh, no, the grape shot! Ah, that actually killed me fairly rapidly. Well, we'll retreat the unit. A good chunk of them survived, so we can probably make use of them again. And we did manage to help wipe out that unit of grey hairs. It's amazing how much damage these Fortabrachios can do when you get into that those sort of real pike block braces. They're just so damaging. But yeah, those um, grey hairs, I think, I, I think it was kind of just accidental that we both pushed into each other's range at the same time. I was hoping to set up outside of the range of the grey hairs, but yeah, they basically pushed into the front of me and then the pikes don't do quite so much damage when enemies are right in their face, but of course that means the grey hairs can stab me and I don't have a shield, so it hurts. Anyway, we'll go for take two. Uh, looks like the enemies have got quite a bit of stuff still set up in this gateway. We've got some friendly archers basically shooting in from the back. It looks like imp, imp archers, so they should be doing a good chunk of damage. I very much doubt they're going to build that great bombard. <laughs> it would be funny if they did. Um, what we've got, so got some jabs going in. Is that her Huskals pushing up at the front? Let's just try and push up the 40s, get them set up. Oh, look at that damage. Oh, the hero kill. <laughs> Go on, let's get that Nadachi down. Finish him off. Hey, there we go. And we got the hero kill on him as well. Nice. That's where Fortabrashus do really well. Two hero kills, another 10 or 15 unit kills, taking us over 30 unit kills. Um, hopefully, what have we got here? The enemy Fortabrashus set up on this corner. Uh, oh, Cav, 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 Cav. Oh, we just got set up in time. Wow, we really wiped that full stack of Cav there. <laughs> Gotta love the 40s when they get set up. I forgot how much fun these units are. Uh, let's try and set up here then. Oh, that's Scorpio. Trying to do damage against these um, enemy berserkers particularly, but also the enemy Huskars. Scorpio really does not like me, does it? Oh no, we're getting flanked now. Okay, the, 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 the 40s are dead. They did us proud. Over 50 unit kills. Can't complain at that. Let's just pull back. We need to get ourselves healed up a little, a little bit. It's not, it's not exactly going according to plan. Uh, thank you, Mr. Longsword. I, I appreciate the heal. Now, this is going to be quite a hard one to take. It's always on this map, I find, that either the A and B point collapse fairly quickly, or you just get stuck on them for, like, the entire game. Um, oh, now I'm going to get these Huskals pushing into our friendly Madao. God, they get a lot of active block, actually, don't they? Got a bit of a pain. Go on, keep back. Keep him on the floor, Mr. Maul. Oh, I've got... Imperial Pike Walk coming into us. I was trying to sort of keep these friendly Madao alive, really, but I've got friendly Reapers going in. Nice. They'll get immunity with Tiger Step. More friendly Pikes coming in. Okay, that was a bit more needed. I'm running out of help hit points. Ow. Yeah. Oh, that spear keeps kicking his spear at me. Leave me alone. Uh, yeah, we really do need to get back to heal because we are close to death. Goodness, we're almost being driven back out of the gateway. It's turning into a really tough fight. Not exactly going according to plan, but I suppose it is an Evo video. What would you expect? Um, right, let's go and grab another unit. Are we going to go... I've got with me my Imperial Shields, which are quite nice, quite tanky, or we just go Laos, which are quite fun for a little bit of, little bit of bludgeoning. 
I suppose we could go on a really large flank, but actually it looks like there's already a little bit of stuff over at the B point, so maybe we just sort of YOLO into A. Yeah, look, you can see there's a couple of my heroes at B, so I'm going to get spotted and seen as I come round. It would be a really nice flank if you could sort of, you know, get fully round behind, but I'm not sure it's going to be that easy. Oh, here we go. Um, oh, more enemy berserkers. Come on, let's just go. We're running out of time is ultimately the problem. If we don't take A soon, then it's really going to be game over. We'll go for a gun run initially. Can we grab a hero? Ah, not quite. Going for a bludgeon then. Uh, whatever is devastation. And then go for the bludgeon. Come on, clear them off point. Okay, let's pull back out. Got some kills, got a bit of damage in. Not quite what I'd had in mind. It didn't go quite as amazingly as I would have liked. Come on, Mr. Spear or Pike or whatever you were. Get off the point. Ugh, more berserkers. It's not really what we needed. They just get their rage up so quickly. You can't even kill them before they get rage. Oh, no, cataphracts. Try and, try and lock them up. Lock them up. I don't think we're going to be... Oh, God, I'm... Yeah, yeah. Okay, followed by Keshigs. Ah, oh, dear. We're going to struggle to take the A point. We've got a good chunk of cap. We really, at best, we're going to have one more push here. In terms of unit kills, you know, if we actually could take the A point here, we're going to be ahead. We're going to be within a really good shot of actually completing this, but I don't know if this is just going to end in heartbreak and we're not even going to get an A, an a point. It wouldn't exactly be the first time. Go on, and Madao pushing in. Problem is the enemy pushing back into the gateway. Unless we can get some serious wiping going on here and actually clear a good chunk of them in the gateway and then push the A, we really only need a few seconds on that cap point to actually get it. Come on, it's got to be the Laos because we need the speed. The Imperial Shields will never get there. Oh, God, just over 30 seconds. All right, come on, Laos, quickly, quickly. Let's just charge the point. We're not going to get there in time. Are we going to be able to clear it? We've got a good push going now. Oh, I've really had a little bit longer. Trib's coming in. Let's just go straight in for the gun run. Get with the devastation. Help clear out the point. Oh, got men at arms here now pushing in. Not exactly what I wanted. Come on, get off the point. No. <laughs> God damn it. Oh, what a disappointment. Well, we certainly had enough momentum going there at the end. We could have carried that through. If only we'd just been able to have an extra 30 seconds, I think we'd have got some kills there. Well, I certainly had a lot of fun with the Fortabraccios. I always enjoy playing that unit. It's a unit that gets featured a lot on this channel because I just, just have so much fun playing it. Anyway, uh, I've also been enjoying actually playing the Imperial Shields a little bit, but maybe we'll have a separate video on them at some point in the future. Anyway, thank you for watching. Hopefully you found it at least vaguely enjoyable. If you did, let me know what you think in the comments. Subscribe to the channel for some more Conqueror's Blade content, and I should see you guys all on the next one.